Crash here from RTA Motorsports and uh, I showed you last time that in that very very long video that for my um, budget rig my little ghetto rig here um, I am making an e-brake um, that's already functional it's very easy to do uh, with a Logitech Wingman Attack 2 or any other um, flight stick you may have uh, this one here the reason why I'm not using it as a shifter is because it wasn't a force feedback stick so uh, the next logical thing was to make an e-brake now in iRacing um, I cannot find a way to get an e-brake assigned to iRacing but games like Dirt 3 which I'm having a real hard time setting up on the uh, PC and getting it to run smooth and most other games do have an e-brake function so I figured you know I, it would be fitting for a car rig to have an e-brake feature now when I was doing that, I took another trip to uh, Goodwill just to see, you know, what else I could find, um, just to kind of fit the theme of this rig. And uh, I found this. It was five bucks. Um, I I don't even think I should have paid that much, but uh, it was the only pedals that were of a decent size. Because sometimes older pedals that you find, they're kind of you know very flat and very. Um, kind of contoured to the base, almost like, you know, if you're sitting up in a chair type playing, um, not really straight up pedals. So I found these pedals here, and uh, they are Interact V3 pedals. Um, I thought they would have a potentiometer in there, um, because in the back of the pedals you could see some gears. Now I took the pedals apart, and you can see in the back, all that really gets these pedals going is a switch just a simple switch the gears are not connected to anything and it's uh... it's pretty much just there to make you think it is a potentiometer pedal but it's not it's a switch so um, what i intend to do with these pedals is basically make a clutch um, so i'm going to uh... delete one of these pedals one of these pedals are not going to be functional and just keep this one here and find a way to fasten it so that way it's uh... pretty close to my other pedals um, the size of the pedal face itself is about the same as those pedals. And uh, very straight up in design. So I think it should work. It's not going to be perfect by any means. And, you know, I do intend to get a good set of pedals like Fanatics or any other standalone pedals eventually. Um, just got to find an amazing deal. Um, but for now, I think this should work. Now, like I said, it's just a switch that is. Um, getting these pedals to work and that is not really realistic it's not always all on or all off so I took apart the Logitech Wingman Attack 2 flight stick that I'm going to use as my e-brake um, and I noticed just like on every other flight stick out there there's a little rotary dial or a lever here for I guess the rudder control I don't really play flight sims or flight games much at all um, so I figured that there would be a wheel on the inside that I could assign to a clutch function. And might as well, most of the buttons here, I do intend to make a button box and assign buttons to it and extend these wires out to a button box over there, but that's going to be at a later time. So I figured with these pedals here, could I get this wheel here to work as a clutch? So I plugged in the flight stick itself and I opened up iRacing and I configured my pedals for the game itself. And I wanted to see if I spin this wheel can I configure it as a clutch. And now I'm going to try to hold this as steady as I can. But you can see there all the different pedal functions and my H shifter pattern and all that and the steering wheel if I move the steering wheel also is moving the camera I apologize about that but you could see that the wheel was moving a little bit now the um, under pedals you could see the line all the way to the left that is for the clutch now when I spin this little dial here 
you can see that blue line going up and down. So that means I can make this work for a clutch. So I've just got to figure out a way to fasten this little uh, wheel here to the pedal itself and wire it in. But that's pretty cool. iRacing is very, very open to uh, any sort of DIY thing you can do. It's very, very neat how this game is and how easy it is. It doesn't have to be a uh, labeled controller for that specific. Bump. So I haven't really played much of the other games yet. I haven't played a set of Forza R Factor 2, Project Cars, or anything like that. Um, I mainly just play iRacing, and the reason for that is I'm kind of a person where I like to play one game at a time. I do play a lot of different games as far as first person shooters, but this racing game here, there's so much to it, um, it's pretty much filling in the gap for me at the moment. So I cannot tell you if this would work for the other racing games as far as you being able to pair anything picked up by the PC um, and assigning that to a clutch function, I would imagine, so I don't see why not, even if it is a button. Um, but what I'm pretty much thinking I'm going to do is drill a hole into the side of this plastic plate here by the pedals uh, and drill a hole into the side of the pedal itself down in this lower area. Find an area of the pedal itself where it rotates but it's not really moving too far away from the, uh, it's not you know too high up on the pedal where the pedal face is moving in a lot. It's more on the rotational axis of, of its assembly here and um, basically glue it in and make sure that I can depress the pedal without breaking the switch and there we go um, and this is just so I could have more of a realistic-ish sort of functioning clutch instead of just an all-on all-off sort of deal I could I could have done that with a, a game pad or anything like that um, and it just makes the project a little bit more immersive. so uh, next step, we're going to take this pedal apart and start drilling. Um, just kind of tinkering around and trying to figure out how to um, get that little wheel um, kind of permanently affixed to this bar. Um, the one thing I had to do was I had to um, affix the bar to the pedal because the bar is just a place of rotation, but the whole thing's kind of loosely made. So I glued, I hot glued the bar to the pedal itself and it rotates just fine. There's like no resistance on it. Uh, another thing that I did that I was showing before was I took the little end caps that are, go over the uh, bar itself. I took the little end caps and as well as where the bar is itself, I said I was going to drill, but that was ridiculous. I ended up dremeling it out a little bit and kind of opening up the back so that way I could get this little wheel across. Now you can see, don't mind the hot glue and the mess, um, it's absolutely messy as hell but it, it works and it's holding it in place. I hot glued the wheel in between this gap here, it's just enough of a gap for um, that little controller to fit in there um, and at that point the wheel itself is probably about like two millimeters away from the bar and they're perfectly lined up. Now if I just throw some hot glue in between there um, it may work for a little bit but eventually the hot glue is going to come off this metal bar just from trying to torque that wheel um, which doesn't have a lot of resistance but I just um, took a piece of plastic and I put it over the top here and I glued them together and that worked but when I went to go test it on the rig itself, it wasn't picking up the wheel. And I was thinking it was my wiring. Um, and it wasn't. There's an inherent dead zone in the wheel itself. So when you go to test it, you have to um, plug it into iRacing and basically turn it until you see that it's actually picking up the wheel because it's a good like quarter of a turn that will just keep reading zero up until it actually starts picking up data and that's where I am going to start it. Now the neat thing about this is it's just a positive and negative wire that is coming from here, red and black. Well from here, um, what was connected to the switch here 
was the you know a red and black positive and negative wire. So I just basically tapped it into the normal wiring for the pedal set itself, and then from there went into um, the circuit board here, stripped the wires that were in initially going into this, and just reattach it red and black. So that way I didn't have to worry about um, polarity in the direction. So. All right, the pedals are all done. I'm going to get some more light on in there. And you can see that the, uh, just for now, I got the uh, clutch pedal that I created on top of, a, on top of just a uh, phone book, just to try to keep it at a level height. But I verified it does work. Um, I did have to go into the Logitech settings and invert the pedal. Um, but, you know, that was just at a click of a button. Alright, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Um, we got everything all together, ready to go. Let me just make sure all the settings saved. I'm pretty much... Yep. I'm pretty much just going to jump right into it because... Um, I already tried the the clutch a little bit on a practice session, and it worked just fine. Um, one thing to note is you don't necessarily need the clutch to get it into first or second gear. Um, but once you're rolling, you have to use a clutch to get it in subsequent gears or get it in a prior gear. Oh, I just got hit by somebody. Should be an interesting race. So I got an unsafe pit entrance. Now I haven't really practiced much with this car on this track, so if I suck, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hopefully I don't piss off too many people during this race. Now this pedal does squeak. I'm going to have to take care of that with the other spring. I just wanted to get this together real quick. I didn't even um, fix all the wires. All the wires are everywhere right now. I do got a get on with some wire management one day when I have some free time and have a little bit more patience but um, that's kind of my problem a little impatient so once I get things together I just want to try it real quick but it's hooked to this here which would be my e-brake once I get that all sorted out See, I put in the clutch, I can rev the car, it says I'm in first gear. Once I let it go, the car starts moving. I'm not used to having a clutch in this. Uh, in this game here, I'm used to my left foot kind of being on the brake only. I don't piss off too many people. I'm kind of really glad I'm on the inside line. And you know, once you're in this race here and you shift to fourth gear, that's pretty much it. I guess 
something already just happened. I'm kind of impatient so once I get everything situated I just want to use it so there's wires all over the place there's nothing set up but it does work and that's what counts now I'm doing street stock right now over at USA International uh, Speedway This track is tough enough as it is without having to learn something new. Um, I do know how to drive manual. I've always driven manual. Learned at a young age on a forklift. <laughs> but, um, and had a uh, WRX recently. Alright, but don't come in the name. But, um, yeah, with this game here, you kind of get used to just, you know, only having a break and uh, breaking gas pedal. So, let's see how I do with <laughs> throwing a, a new pedal in the mix. Now, with the, with the shifter, I'm noticing you can power shift a lot just by, you know, kind of getting off the throttle in these cars, the carburetor cup in this car here. I'm not sure if you can do it with all the other cars like the, the Miata, the Solstice, um, you know. So, that remains undetermined. But, So yeah, you know, the, uh, the pedal does work, works well, you know, um, I'll show you when I'm gritting up here that it does in fact work. Once they allow me to put it in gear. Um, but yeah, you can power shift into gears, you can't downshift. Um, and if you're staying on the throttle and you're trying to power shift, it won't shift. Um, from like for example third to fourth so you have to um, you know then use a the clutch but um, it works I mean it does work really and the pedal doesn't seem to be moving at all it's not moving around it's not moving side to side and the height of it and the placement of it is not too far away from the brake I mean maybe that far away it's not too bad at all feels kind of natural all right, so now, see, we're in first. Now, if I put the clutch in, it's still showing that we're in first. So as soon as I, like, let out the clutch, we start moving. So it does work. Here, it's squeaking away. <laughs> I was kind of hoping today to have most things done on this rig. Um, have this all vinyl wrapped and, um, but it's a project for another day. So yeah, like I said, this is a uh, street stock over at uh, USA, International Speedway, and um, I could imagine there's going to be a lot of crashing. <laughs> So hopefully if I start messing up, it, 
it goes fairly unnoticed and I don't piss off really hardcore people. So we're in the uh, Pontiac Solstice, and um, we're just testing before a race that's going to start in about eight minutes. Here we go. We're in first gear, second gear. I've never driven this track before, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Probably not the ideal testing situation, but now you can see if I push in the clutch. does work and it's probably you know not a bad thing being that the pedal squeaks so that way you can hear it engage uh, it took that turn way too hot never seen this course before over here probably shouldn't enter a race on a course I've never really practiced at but So uh, we're back in the solstice. We're warming up for the race. I'm going to put my headset on so I can hear people's complaining. Probably mostly at me because I don't really do this race too often. Uh, this type of race app. Actually at all. Let me actually go into the car setup. Um, see if anyone has any good shared ones. No. I have a little setup that is really just... Uh, just to kind of make the car feel a little looser. Let it turn in a little faster. Let's see, no one's really around. Thank you. 